just made that up tonight and I love it. Do you mind? <laughs> you know what I mean, dude? Sorry. Let him see that. It has a skull on it. Sorry, I, I like skulls. Pirate, yes. Mr. Brown, what does sex, drag, and rock and roll mean to you? And how do you plan to use these things to help our community continue to believe in pride? Thank you, JJ. Thank you. To me, sex, drag, and rock and roll represents our community and the kings within our community. When rock and roll was started, it was frowned upon. It was misunderstood, much as we were when we first started coming out and much as kings were in a queen scene. Rock and roll was hidden in basements. It was held underground, just like our pride celebration when we started in Frick Park. But just as rock and roll grew from those basements, we also grew from Frick Park to Liberty Avenue. As for sex and drag, those to me go hand in hand. As a king, we use sex on stage, just as the king himself, Elvis Presley, with the shaking and the hip thrust. If crowned Mr. Pittsburgh Pride, I will keep fighting for more acceptance in our community, more acceptance by those who hate us, those who don't understand us, we will educate them. And if we stand together, we can move even further than Liberty Avenue. Think about it, we conquered Frick Park, we outgrew it, moved to the North Shore, we outgrew it. They're giving us 10 blocks on Liberty Avenue, yeah. it's about damn time we outgrow it. Yeah.